our beloved prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him and his family, has so many qualities. One of his qualities is kindness. And the kindness of our beloved prophets was not only to those who were good to him. He was kind even to those who were not good to him. And Quran is very clear when it comes to being kind to those who wrong us. Because being kind to the one who is kind to you is known, it's a done deal. And the Quran makes it very clear. al jazaul ihsan illa al ihsan Indeed, the reward of kindness is kindness. So that is done deal. But kindness to those who wrong us takes a real personality to do that. And the Holy Quran taught us how to do it and the reward of being kind to those who wrong us. You know what does Allah says? He said, Wala testa wala hasanatu wala Allah says, indeed, goodness will never be equal to evilness. Then he says, idfa billati hiya ahsan. Pay with the best. Someone wrongs you. Someone hurts you. Someone offend you as youth on campus or when hanging around and chilling with your friends someone step on your toe Allah says do not retaliate pay with what is the best so you know very well we have good we have a better we have a best Allah is not saying pay with good Allah is not saying pay with better. Allah is saying pay with best. And then the ayah continues. فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدَاوَةٌ كَأَنَّهُ وَلِيٌ حَمِيمٌ Allah says, this is how you should approach the one who wrongs you. The one you think there is enmity between the two of you. The one who offend you. Allah says, Consider that person your close friend. Consider that person your wali, your beloved. And not just a beloved, someone so dear to you, someone very close to you. What is the reward? He said, no one will achieve this status except those who are patient. Then he said, وَمَا يُلَقَاهَا إِلَّا ذُو حَزْدٍ عَظِيمٍ No one will achieve this except those who are of great success in the sight of Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Our beloved Prophet, my dear brothers and sisters, was thrown stones. Our beloved Prophet was ridiculed by the enemies our beloved prophet was undermined. But in return, he was kind to them. In return, he said to them, all of you go, you are free, you are forgiven. When the holy city of Mecca was opened, you know very well, there were those who undermined prophets before his migration to the holy city of Medina. But the moment the holy city of Mecca was opened, he looked at all of them and said to them, all of you are free from today. This is the epitome of kindness. Where do we learn better than from the holy prophets of Islam? He is our prophet and we must learn from him. So therefore, let us be kind to those who wrong us. You will never be a failure by being kind to the one who wronged you. You'd rather be triumphant or victorious in the eyes of Allah and in the eyes of good people. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.